Okay, I've got a new exercise for you today that's gonna help you with your knee tracking when you do lunges. So if you're one of these people that comes down and then starts rolling your knee inwards, due to probably a lack of hip strength or maybe just a control issue, but if you do roll inwards, I've got a new one to do with a Swiss ball. Now traditionally, when I get people, people who have that sort of problem, we try and get more hip external rotation Rain, um, strength, if you like, or movement or activation in that lunge. So I usually get people doing a banded physio lunge. So when they drop down, the band is trying to pull them in. So they fight that. They've got something to fight against, which gives them that external rotation movement here. So as they go through, they train their brain into external rotation with the hip. When they do lunge, helps fix that up. Now, obviously, if this band is too tight, it'll just pull their knee in. So it's relative to the band. Now. There's also, that's a sort of pulling out one. There's also another way of doing it. You can do a pushing out one. So if you're one of these people, sometimes that works for you, the band's great, other people, and I find this one gets way more hip activation, way more burnout with the muscle. So some people might like a little bit more than just that. That's when this ball comes in. Now, standard Swiss ball. I'm gonna show you my left leg because obviously we're facing that way. What you do, put it down by your knee. Similar to like when you're doing a one leg bull squat, but you're doing a lunge and it's on the outside of the front leg. Okay, now remember, when you're doing a physio lunge, it's forward and down. I'll explain why we have to do that in a minute with the ball. But if you look at the ball, now I've got this against the pole, so you can you could put it against the wall, it doesn't really matter. At the moment, I've got a decent amount of pressure on it, but it's enough, I can keep my knee out over my middle of the foot, which is remember it's on the outside of the big toe. So when looking down there, your knee doesn't go on the inside of your big toe, it's outside of your big toe. I've got to look down at that and go, I've got to keep my knee over the middle of my foot when I lunge down and forward, like a physio lunge down and forward. So when you're coming down and forward, there's two rounded surfaces coming together. So they're pushing in against each other. So this is going to get harder and harder and harder as I go to the point where it's just going to roll my knee in. So I've got to adjust where I put my foot relative to how much power I've got here and how pumped up that ball is. So it does tend to how strong you are on this hip. But when you come down, you've got to get that knee going forward, weight through your heel, and drop into the point where that's really hard to maintain that and then push back through that heel. Now that's burning me out just for a couple of reps of doing that because I've got constant load just holding the ball there. But as I go down and forward, I'm going into a lengthening position in my glute when I go into hip flexion, which is harder for that muscle. And as I go into that lengthening position, I'm working on more and more and more load. So it's really, really good for strengthening deep down in that lunge when you need it. And of course, when you need that knee not rolling in. So this is perfect for those people who need strength increases in the hip to help with their knee down to that lunge. And this will help with your squat and all that sort of thing as well. But the lunge part is a really easy way of doing it. Now, a couple of things to note is you don't want to do a vertical lunge, okay? The reason for that is if I just hold it there, yes, I'm getting burnout here, but if I just drop down into there, I'm getting no real increases as I go into a lunge. And that's because I'm not rolling that ball forward. So what I want to do is make sure when you do that lunge, if I take the ball away for a second, is you want to go down and forward, which I've explained with a couple of my other lunge videos. So my shin angle, my back thigh angle, and my back angle are all coming forward at the same degree angle like that. I'm keeping weight through my heel, so if I put weight through my heel, I'll get my hip going a bit better than driving up through the heel, not driving up through the back leg, driving through the front leg. Then I'm going to get a better movement when I come back to this, if I show you again, back on my left leg again, go into my lunge. When I roll forward, those two rounded surfaces are getting pushed harder and harder together, which is harder for me to hold. And I really have to work on my balance here, my core strength, and then drive forward. And that is gonna give me so much more work rate in the hip when I lunge, and then that'll transition to a better knee control because of the better strength and you're programming that in. So every time you're doing this lunge, you keep programming in that movement pattern, it's gonna help upstairs as well. Hope that helps, see you next time.